Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kate Spring, and I'm a dating and relationship coach from the west coast of Canada. And in today's video, I want to nip something in the butt, and that is mistakes that men are making with Tinder. These are through the three most common mistakes that I see men making with women. That is what is stopping a woman from swiping right for you. So let's lay down what these three mistakes are and some solutions. Before we get started, as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you personally as soon as I can. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that I can continue to create free content for you. For our first Tinder faux pas, I wanna go with one that women talk to me about constantly and that is when a man doesn't have enough solo photos. Tinder allows for you to show up to six photos. If a girl has to spend too much time trying to figure out who you are in the photos, she will quickly lose interest. So make her decision to swipe right for you as easy as possible with photos where you're the sole focus. Your goal in your pictures is to present yourself in the most appealing way, all while giving a girl a little glimpse into your life. A good combination of photos is photos where you are clearly the focus. You could have a close up, a medium shot, which is your torso up, and a full body shot. Photos of you out and about, in nature, etc. is great. Don't use your photos to just showcase your dog. Instead, have a picture of you and your dog. Avoid pictures that you've taken in the bathroom mirror. Uh, those are a no-no. Also avoid pictures that you've taken like on your webcam where it's really grainy. Try to get some candid shots of you smiling and or laughing. You're showing yourself off in these pictures, so don't be afraid to ask a friend to snap a few candids of you. Always remember that this is your profile and your chance to showcase yourself. Don't have too many pictures uh, with you in the same group of buddies. Again, confusing for a girl to decipher who you are. A good rule of thumb is that your first picture should always, always, always be a picture of just you and your face should be visible in it. And please, do not show off in your photos holding expensive things. This just leaves a bad taste in a girl's mouth. The second thing that turns women off from your profile is if you don't have a bio. The bio and pictures are complementary. I'd say that the photos are the primary focus and the second most important aspect of your profile is your bio, which should not include your penis size. Regardless if you're looking for a one night stand or a more serious relationship, a girl is more inclined to swipe right for you if you have something written in your bio that lets her get to know you and your sense of humor. One word is too short, a three paragraph mini essay is too much. Drop a joke or a quote. And if you're not necessarily the funny type, jot down where you're from, uh, what you like to do for fun or in your free time, or what you do for work. For example, you could say, Tristan, Toronto based, 6'3", account by day, sushi lover by night. Just make it sound interesting and use proper grammar and spelling. Attention to detail is key and will really go that extra mile in capturing a woman's attention. Our third Tinder mishap is poor greetings. Recently, I've had a lot of women ask me why men greet them on Tinder with a sup dude. If this is your opening line, then I'd suggest that you stop. This line doesn't work on women. It sets the wrong tone from the get-go. A good opening line would be a witty comment or an observation about one of her pictures or her bio. That way you instigate some flirty banter. If women are on Tinder, they are there to try to meet someone. So don't push her away by saying, hey there, how are you? Use language to your advantage. Be in charge of the conversation by steering it into a cheeky and flirty conversation with a girl. And this all starts with your opening line. For example, you've matched with a girl named Elise. Uh, the first thing to do is make sure that somewhere in your first message that you mention her name. The next step is to tailor your message to her. Use the info from her bio and her pictures to come up with an opener. You could say, Elise, I see you enjoy hiking, spending time with your girlfriends and hanging out with your cat. Is this the bio equivalent to the dog face filter on Snapchat? And be sure to leave like a winky face so that you're not to offend her. All right, and that is the top three Tinder mistakes that I see men making. I hope that you've learned how to ramp up your profile in these three simple steps. And as always, thank you for your constant support. It's support like yours that allows me to continue to create these videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel where you can stay up to date with my latest videos. Until next time, thank you for watching.